Welcome back to Forza Horizon 1. Today, we are continuing our Bringing It Back series. I gotta give you guys a massive thank you for all of the support on the last episode. I seriously did not expect you guys to enjoy it as much as you did, so thank you, thank you so much. We are on our way to our next wristband. We need a couple of points, so maybe we'll bang some of those out today. Maybe we'll do some more of the street races. Maybe we'll buy some more cars. And maybe we'll do some predictions and talk about some interesting stuff that I think about so. Forza Horizon 4. For this race, I've got to have a Ford that's newer than 1980 and it's got to be A-Class. Well, I don't own one of them. We got to start this off immediately by buying a new car. Well, not exactly how I planned to start today, but let's go for it. Should we bring it back with the Shelby GT500? Yeah, we can do that. Don't be blue when I beat you, yo. It's something you get used to. Yo, is this game just trying to copy me for what cars the rivals are taking? Like for real? All right, well, boogity, boogity, boogity in the Mustang. Let's go racing. Oh, it feels good. I've actually had a recent upset. Sorry, I got confused with the crowd. As I was saying, I recently fell in love once again with the big bad Mustang. I'm just saying the new GT500 is, oh my god. Nope, saw another crowd, I'm sorry. As you might have noticed, if you've been playing Forza Horizon 4 recently, a lot of the cars in Forza Horizon 4 that have been added in have been from this game. Just take a look at things like the Rossi and the Lamborghini Diablo GTR. So now my question is, what's next for Forza Horizon 4? One of my personal favorite cars that is probably one of the last ones on people's bucket list. For Forza Horizon 4, the Gumpert Apollo. I think a lot of people fell in love with it in this game and in Test Drive Unlimited 2. I don't know though, maybe that's just me. What cars would you want to see come from Forza 1 into Forza Horizon 4? Let me know in the comments down below. Yo, we're picking up some good money though, but more importantly, we're picking up those points for the wristband. Okay. Two more events and we should have it blue wristband done. Yo, somebody's got a very good one. Instead of this thing, the Shelby GT500, somebody says the Shelby GT1000. Anyways, let's go. Two more events and we got this. Sorry, did I call it a GT1000? It's just called the Shelby. There's another good one. The area around Gladstone Creek where the barn find is supposed to be. Sorry, did I say GT1000? It's just called the Shelby. 1,000. That would be sick as well, though. Yo, what is this? This is muscle cars from the opposite end of the spectrum. We are going from new to old. Bring it back in the old Mustang. Let's go. Yo, how does this Mustang handle a thousand times better than my new modern Mustang? What are we doing out here? This thing's like a nice breaky boy. It's so much lighter than the new one, man. Look at it go. There's no wheel spin. I don't know if it's just me as well, though. That finds the physics in Forza Horizon 1 just really controllable. He says as he crashes. I know th I know I've got a lot of Horizon 1 bias, that's for sure. But I, I don't know. This game feels pretty good, man. Short little race done. Thank you for another first. I think we got to turn the difficulty up. Let's start pulling in some even more money than that. So we got the gauntlet. All right, Shelby GT500. Let's go bang this one out and we are done. Actually, we'll get the barn find after this as well. Completely forgot about that thing. Okay, everybody's blocking me, yo. Open it up in the Mustang. I need all of the speed. Yo, you know what else? This brings back some Need for Speed movie vibes. Hello, goodbye. Check this. This was my favorite part of Horizon. These little twisties, just like this. Nah, Lotus, you brought the wrong car for the twisties, bud. You need the horsepower through these. I think we've definitely got to raise the difficulty. Done again. We take it. Thank you, game. There we go. Blue wristband unlocked. Drop by to pick up your blue wristband. We will go and do that right after 
We go and find our bar and let go. Yo, we got another rival race head to head. We gotta go get our barn find first though. Let's pick that up. Then we'll head over, get our new wristband, and then we will go and take down our rival man. We gotta go for a little... Goodbye. <laughs> I'm not even joking. One of my favorite parts about this game, losing my bumper. We are officially in barn territory. Where... Where's it gonna be? Yo, I didn't know we had barns on easy mode in this game. Like, what? What are we doing here? Oh, man. Now that's a barn fine from heaven. This pretty lady is a Mercedes Benz 300 SL Coupe. And I'm sure you'll agree. She is one of the most beautiful cars ever made. Fantastic. All right. Back to the festival to get our new wristband. We need to go to Race Central for that. Perfect. This blue wristband means you're really proving yourself at the festival. Keep going. Yo, this is what made Horizon feel so special. All of these cutscenes, they might seem insignificant, but in the larger picture, they are so cool. We will come back to that for the moment. Let's go and take down our rival and get ourselves a free car. This is so cool. We got a starter for the race. That's incredible. That is so incredible. Oh my God, he's gonna kill him. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, buddy, you're not driving a Mustang. <laughs> um, abuse. Now that I restarted so many times, I've actually got to go and catch up to this man. It's a proper street race though uh oh oh no we're good held it brilliantly in the mustang uh, i do need to lose my rear bumper though i don't actually like having it on the car let me give it a little a little nailed it <laughs> oh that didn't work brilliantly we'll we'll catch up okay howard what is that for a racing line where are you going i think you can see now why I love this game so much. It's it's just so much fun. You don't get this anymore. Shelby GT500. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Bringing it home. <laughs> it was a little bit of murder, a little bit of crashing, a little bit of bumper losing, and some really strange racing lines. But we take the dub, and we also take the man's car. I I lost my flip, yo. Easy come, easy go. Oh, thank you right for the Dodge Challenger, which I have a GT500. Why would I want that? Yo, this thing sounds like a proper muscle car. What? I would like to take back everything I said about the Dodge Challenger Owners Club. Hey, and the barn find is ready to pick up. Thank you, game. We will be there shortly. Let's go get some more points, though. DJ says he sent me a gift. Oh, no way! DJ's gifted me a 1,000. That's the Shelby 1,000. I just love this moment. Adrenaline is my drug of choice. More rivals to take down. Okie dokie. Away we go. In the Audi Quattro. This thing's a beast. Yo, you know what we should do? I think after this race, we'll head back to the auto show. We'll buy a car that we really, really like. Yo, okay, for real, they weren't lying when you said the competition's harder, yo. I'm no longer super OP. I've actually got to drive well now. Yo, look at all these twisties. I'm about to take all of these flat. I lied. However, that worked up to first place. <laughs> you remember what I was saying? How I feel like I'm better with the... Bruh. How I feel like I'm better with these physics? I wasn't lying. I mean, it did backfire because I did forget how to shift gears in the middle of that race, but third place isn't terrible. We'll build a new car. Yo, what about this thing? Mercedes-Benz S65 AMG. I don't remember the last time we had an S-Class in a Forza game. This is the car that is definition of Move out of my way, poor person. Let's go, S65. I think the main thing we need in this, some new brakes, yes please. 
We've already got horsepower, so we don't really need that. Rally suspension. I think the main thing we need, though, is some good old-fashioned weight reduction. Remove a thousand... 100 pounds and look at what it's doing on the inside. It's removing the passenger seat. Forza Horizon 4. Where are these features? Let's go. We're definitely the only person whose personal driver is racing for us. Also, I forgot this was rear wheel drive. It's going to be a bit slow. Oh, we're racing a Supra in my S class. Hello, poor. Okay, one guy died. Coming through. It's too long. My front bumper's gone. I think I figured out why the S-Class is not in Forza games anymore. It's a bit on the big side. What are we doing? Coming through. Sorry. Help. Okay, a V12 with 600 horsepower in something this big. Nah, bad idea, but yo, I'm winning. How am I winning? When did that happen? I didn't even notice that I overtook people. It's just, I'm, I'm living it up in comfort back here. Game, where's everybody else gone in this race? Like, I don't know what happened to the AI, but I think they all broke down. Somebody's like, how much have you depreciated your S65 since you bought it? Yeah, well, considering a used S65 goes for about five bucks, I I've lost all my money buying this thing. The world is watching, Shavetail. Try not to choke. And if you do, choke good. <laughs> this game was rated E for everyone. Anyways, Mustang, let's get it going, bud. Things I didn't notice when I was a kid, and now I notice a couple of years later. Big yikes. And oh, up we do. Straight up the inside, a lovely little move. Okay, that man's running a Jeep. The guy has a billion horsepower. He's literally gone. Send it straight up. Lovely corners. Oh, ah, ha, ha. that's what I like about this game. You can find some quick little boom, boom, and you just cut straight up the middle. You feel like a champion. You guys are right. The Mustang sings as it goes. Ah, oh, another easy one. Mustang takes it in first. Good stuff for us. Some more points towards the pink wristband. Ah, thank you. Let's go do one more race. Yeah, yeet. Oh, hello. Oh, sorry. Yo, there's the ultimate arrow. That thing looks so good. Hey, uh, you tell me which one of these pedals is the brake? Forget it. Who needs brakes? V-Dub Corrado. I miss this thing as well. This is just an awesome car. I think, honestly, if I could find a nice, cheap Corrado, I think I would totally buy one to hoon around in. I think it would just be so much fun. Come on, little VR6. Oh, there goes somebody's bumper. He gone. Yo, I have so many memories of playing some good old cat and mouse games around here. Yo, look at my front bumper. How much that's dented in. It looks like I'm backed into something. Or what? Forwarded into something. I think we do need to do it at some point. I think we gotta come back to Horizon 1 do some of the mini games. Cat and Mouse was so good in this game. Oh, the AI crashed. Send it. Thank you. One more lap to go. I'm in third. Come on, little Corrado. I'm not gonna do it, but I did get pretty close. Tried to get the... Oh, tried to get the best racing lines possible. And I've somehow dented my door now. Across the line, little VW. Incredible little car. That's such a fun race course, legit. Yeah, Fire's right. He's like, you definitely need to get the DLC working. I 100% do. I don't know what I have to do. If anybody out there can help me, it would be much appreciated. But I, I don't know if it's possible to get the DLC again for this game. That's where we're going to wrap this up for today in the lovely world of Forza Horizon 1. Seriously, this game is so much fun and brings back so many memories i want to keep it going if you guys want to see more you guys know know what you gotta do in another barn find yes next time we know exactly what we're gonna go and do